So how about today we look at a Stevie Ray Vaughan inspired blues shuffle riff in E. Now this is a really cool pattern that combines a walking bass line in between the chords. Stevie Ray Vaughan used this pattern, but he wasn't the only one that did it, but he definitely made it sound amazing. Definitely a lot better than I just demonstrated right there. But if you're up for a challenge and want something fun to work on, I'm gonna show you that one that I just played, as well as a couple little variations I've done to it. Let's go. All right, so in order to play this one, every bass note or every chord is going to be on a downbeat, but then in between that on the offbeats, we're going to have the open E and open B strings played simultaneously. I'll demonstrate here. So we've got an open, we've got an E chord. I'll down strum that and then up pick on the first and second strings. You got to be careful when you're doing the bass line on this one, um, trying to minimize any additional open strings or any idle strings. So one of the little techniques I'll use is on my fretting hand, I tend to lay a lot of my fingers a little bit more horizontal or flatter against the strings to try to help minimize any idle strings from ringing out or accidentally hitting one with the pick. <laughs> got to watch out for that right there's the open third string definitely has a major clash against the chord all right so so you got to take your time when you're working on this pattern um, it's deceptively tricky at first, I know, because it took me a while to really kind of get, uh, get coordinated on this one. So just take your time. Another little technique you can try is just practice the bass line first. See if you can get that down. And then really it's just a matter of getting all of the open first and second string, the little two note chords in between those. So if we had an E chord. At this point we're going to the A chord, our four chord. the one chord. Now for the five chord, I'm using a little B7 triad here. And then I move up to the sixth fret on the fifth string. Now I'm using a C9 a B9 but here in a little bit I'm going to show you a variation on that where we can try a different type of turnaround and if you're not sure what turnarounds are check out my previous video that came out last week on blues turnarounds now for some variation so in the fourth bar rather than playing on the D string going to open and then to the A string the Instead of doing that, you could do this instead, where we actually start on the, I'll, I'll start on the fifth fret, on the fifth string, the A string. So I'm gonna play the first five bars of it, just so you kind of hear that difference in those two fourth bar uh, variations.
So that fourth bar right there, it's good to have some, some differences with it because you don't want to play it the same way every time. Stevie Ray didn't do it, neither did any of the other greats that use this technique. So you definitely want to diversify your options when you're playing a pattern like this. Uh, experiment, try different things with it. So the first example just descended straight down towards the A. But then in variation two, I am descending down. But then I drop down below my target of A to a G sharp. All right, so it just gives a little bit more variation to it and a little bit more dynamic interest. All right, now some variations in the 11th and 12th bars of this. So instead of just always playing the same turnaround, I'm gonna show you a couple other options that you can experiment with, mix and match pieces to them, and you can come up with a whole bunch of different cool options for this shuffle blues in E, Stevie Ray Vaughan style. All right, so here's my uh, first turnaround alternative here. So. Basically, I'm just hitting the E chord, going up to the D on the A string. And I might end on a B9. And then again, I might end on a B9, B7 sharp nine like this. If I want a little bit of added tension to it. Alternative number two would be a very similar pattern that we start off with. But I'm gonna do an alternating thing between my bass line that's descending. And once again, a B9, a B7. B7 sharp nine. Heck, if you can throw a B13 in there, if you like that sound, by all means, go for it. All right, let me know what you guys thought of the Stevie Ray Vaughan inspired blues shuffle in E. Let me know in the comments how you did with it um, or any other variations you've created on your own with something similar to that that's inspired by SRV. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Keep rocking on.